Hello and welcome to another Teenage Church. I hope everyone is doing well. We've been praying for you all. We can't wait to see you all once we reopen. We're going to start with a word of prayer, then we'll have our joke of the day, okay? All right. Our Father and our God, we just want to give all glory and our honor and all praise to your name. We just want to thank you for another opportunity to be in your midst, dear Heavenly Father, to hear about your word and your plan and all that you plan to do in the lives of each and every person that's watching, dear Heavenly Father. We bless your name for that. We thank you that your plans are good and that your promises are yes and amen. We give all glory and all honor and all praise to your name. We pray, dear God, for your continued covering from this coronavirus, from the Delta variant. We pray that more people would get vaccinated, dear Heavenly Father. We pray also, dear God, for our brothers and sisters all over this world. We pray for Haiti and everything that's going on there, dear God. We pray that you would just be in the midst, dear God, and that your will would be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so are you ready for the joke of the day? Okay. So what do you call a running deer? What do you call a running deer? Or in other words, a deer that's running. Fast food. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> okay. Today I want to talk to you from Ecclesiastes 3. We're going to go from 1 to 8. And we're going to talk about a time to get prepared. A time to get prepared. Ecclesiastes 3, verses 1 through 8. Got it? Okay. For everything there is a season. And a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. That's an important one, right? Especially for school. Okay. There's a time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. And I want to talk to you today about what it's time for in your life. Number one... And write this down. Number one, and most importantly, it's always a time to pray. It's always a time to pray. We're in praying times, especially during times like during this coronavirus season. Okay? But secondarily, this is your time to prepare. Now, what do I mean by that? What, and what are you preparing for? It's a time for you to prepare because when you're in school, kindergarten through 12th grade, that's your time of preparation to get prepared for what? college, but not only college, but also for where you're going to be going out in life, right? It's a time for you to learn, a time for you to get yourself uh, together and prepared for what God has called you to do. Even before Jesus started his ministry, he had a, a season for what? Preparation. This is your season of preparation. These school years are your season of preparation. But I want to talk more specifically about this summer. This summer is a time for you to prepare for this upcoming year. What are you doing to prepare for this upcoming year? Number one, you should be cultivating that relationship with God, right? We talked about a time to pray, right? Your prayer life right now is tremendously important. Your prayer life is what is going to give you the fuel and the direction on where you're supposed to be headed. When we pray, we're supposed to get God's what? Direction on where we're supposed to be going. We're not praying to change God's mind. We're praying more so to get the mind of God so that God can speak to us. So during this time, during this summer, we should be spending time in prayer to see what? God, what am I supposed to accomplish this school year, right? I have all this summertime, all this break. What should I be doing? I should be prepping for my math classes. What math classes am I going to be taking, right? I know it doesn't sound like fun. Like, who wants to prep for geometry during the summer, right? But it's going to be beneficial in the long run. Prepping for that calculus class, prepping for that physics class, prepping for that internship, prepping for uh, your college admissions. Some of us are going to our junior year, right? 
Some of us are going into our senior year, and we should be looking at colleges and universities, where we're headed. Are you spending this time prepping yourself for the next step? That's what I want to talk to you about today, prepping yourself for the next step. And the most important thing for you to do is to consult God so that he can tell you what the next step is. Because if you don't know what the next step is, you don't know what, what you're preparing for. The only person who can fully tell you that is what? God. Yes, you, kn you know some things in the natural. Like you know what school you're going to in the next year, right? I'm sure your parents have signed you up for whatever academic program you're going to. Some of us are going into high school. So congratulations for that, right? Finishing eighth grade. But you're going into the next step. You're going to the next level of your life. So what should you be accomplishing this year? One goal you should set is what? I'm going to make honor roll this year. I'm going to make principles list this year. I'm going for all A's. Never start out in the class saying, I'm going to what? Make a bad grade in this class. And not only that, not only academically, but let's talk about other facets of your life. What are you prepping for socially? What kind of friend group are you prepping for? This year, are you going to say, my friend group is going to consist of people who try to follow the will of God. My peer group is going to consist of people who read their Bible consistently. So socially, we're also preparing this summer. You got a lot of work to do this summer. I don't know if you realize that or not. Well, I talked about the academic piece first, and then I talked about what? The social piece. And most importantly, the spiritual component. I, I talked a little bit about what? Cultivating your prayer life this summer. But also, I need to be prepping for the role that God has called me into this year. Yeah, God has a role for you minute by minute, hour by hour, second by second. God is not confused about what he wants you to do, okay? So have you spent any time praying and asking God this summer, because we don't have the busyness of the school year and everything that's going on, have you spent any time this summer asking God, what am I supposed to do now spiritually? What would you have me to do? Is God saying to you to join the dance ministry? Is God saying to you to join, to join the youth choir, the youth usher board, right? For you to serve spiritually in the church, okay? And also, what are you doing to prepare your spiritual man for the upcoming challenges that you're going to face? Because there will, there will always be challenges. For instance, some of us have to deal with the death of a loved one. Some of us have to deal with the loss of a relationship, of a friend. What are you doing to prep yourself for the challenges that you're going to face? Because your spiritual man has to be built up to encounter these things, to, to deal with these types of challenges in life. Because to be honest and to be real about it, some things do hurt us. I know we all like to be Superman and Superwoman, but there are things that do what? Hurt us and that work against what we're trying to accomplish and what we're trying to do. And sometimes there are people now in a circle who might say something negative to take you off track from your destiny or to make you behave in a way which, in which you ordinarily would not behave, right? And so this is the time to build that spiritual man up so that you can be prepared for any what? Any traps and wiles of the devil, any, any type of arrows or strategy that he tries to use to what? Take you off track. Because what you fill yourself with is what is going to come out when pressure is applied to you. You know how if you take a grape, right, and you squeeze it and the juices come out, right, they ooze out of the grape? Same thing goes for us. When pressure is applied to our lives from various circumstances, what comes out is going to be the uh, direct result, directly correlated to what we filled ourselves with. So when the pressure is applied to us, when we encounter a hard class, when we encounter the loss of a relationship, whether it be a friendship or boyfriend, girlfriend, even though we're kind of young to date, though, let me throw that in there. But what, when we deal with these types of challenges, what's going to come out is what you filled yourself with, which may be what? Scripture. It should be. Scripture. A prayer saying, God, I know what? Your promises. I know what you promised for me. I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not what? Beneath. Knowing the word of God, is that going to come out when, when pressure is applied to our lives? Okay? So I want to encourage you today, not tomorrow, today. I want you to start working on and building up your spiritual man, your academic man, your social component, 
And also, even though you're, you're relatively young though, some of us do have little part-time jobs and things like that. There's a financial component you can start preparing for as well, right? Have you started considering how much your college is going to cost? Have you started putting money away and saving up money for what? Later on down the line for your future, from investing and things like that. You can start now. If you haven't, now is a perfect time for you to get started, okay? So I want you to start preparing yourself for what? Every facet of life during this summer. Now, you can prep for your whole life in one summer, no. But you can prep for these upcoming months and upcoming what? School year. I'm excited to see what some of us are going to say as far as what we're going to do as far as our volunteer work in the church. When church reopens, I expect to see us running and saying, I can't wait to serve. It's been such a long time since I've seen everyone. I can't wait to get in the house of God and what? Be of service. Are you prepping yourself that way? Prepping yourself physically to be able to what? Endure, right? Building up your, your cardio endurance, building up your cardiovascular health, building up your what? Physical body, because that's another side of it too. You got to make sure that you're taking care of your temple that God gave you as well. That's another component as well. But I want you to use this time for preparation. God has given us this time. Let's not squander the time that he's given us. Let's take this time and utilize it for something what? Positive and beneficial that's going to advance his kingdom first and foremost. And secondarily, it's going to what? Advance our lives. Okay? All right. You all have a blessed Sunday. It's been great dialoguing with you all. I expect to hear next time that we talk what plans and what preparation you're making for what this upcoming year. All right. God bless. Have a great day.